Hi everybody, are you ready to learn our final letter? We've learned all of them except this one. This is the last one. The letter is Q, but on the card it has a Q and a U. Do you know why? Because they're very good friends. And whenever you see a Q, the letter U usually in the English language follows it. So they put it together so you remember that letter Q does not like to go out without its friend U. So we always see them together. That's why it's together on the card. The letter Q makes the sound, Q and the U together, make the sound of a K and a W. Listen, K, W, K and a W, right? The letter Q makes that sound. So when you make that sound, you make it sound like a K and a W. Qu. Try it. Qu. Wonderful. Let's see what letter Q looks like. On the card, you can see it looks like a backwards P, but then on the chart, when I did the lowercase, I made it have a little tail. You're going to see it both ways. You know how you sometimes see those fancy A's and fancy T's with the loop and fancy G's? Well, Q, you'll see it different ways depending on the way the computer, the what it's called the font, the way the, the font is written. This is the way you'll normally see it. It's very rare to see it like this, but this is the way we're going to practice it. This is actually the way to make a lowercase Q. So, to make the uppercase Q, you can see that it lives in the attic space and the main floor, the upstairs and the downstairs. And what we do is we start at the two o'clock dot and we make that scoop around, making the letter C, closing up, making the letter O. And the only thing that distinguishes the Q from the O is this diagonal line down, kind of like a tail also. Look again. We circle around, and when we do a diagonal line down, notice the diagonal line starts between the, the middle line and the lower line. It starts right, uh, almost halfway between, a little bit lower than halfway. And that is the way the uppercase Q is made. The lowercase Q is like a lowercase C. It comes up and down. Now what does it look like? an A, right? Then we come down and scoop around. Take a look again. Start at the two o'clock dot, circle around, touch the top, the middle line and the bottom line, come up to the middle line, down and then into the basement, and then you make your scoop around. The way you know which way to make your scoop is that letter Q is always followed by U. So you're going to push that scoop. Remember, Q really wants to be with you. So make that scoop go toward the U. Make sure it doesn't go away from the U because then what letter do you have? You have a G, right? You want that, you want that tail to come right toward the U like that. Let's look at one more. Circle around, line up line down and scoop around right toward the U. That is letter Q. I have something in a jar. It's a jar with quarters, quarters. Do you remember how much a quarter is worth? It's worth 25 cents. And do you remember whose face is on the quarter? It's George Washington. Well. I have all these quarters in my jar. Take a look, take a guess. How many quarters do you think I have in the jar? You can put your guess on the chart and we'll count them on Friday. For our project this week, we're going to make a quarter tree. You're going to get this paper at home you're going to need a quarter and some crayons. And we're going to do what's called a rubbing. We're going to take the quarter and we're going to put it under 
Remember how we do the bumpy screen? Well, we're going to do the same thing with a quarter. Put it under your paper, and then you're going to just color over it, and you get, look, you can see, actually, when you pull it up, you can see the quarter. You can see where it says Liberty, look. You can see George Washington's face. You can see all the parts of the quarters. So there's one. That one was a little messy. Let's see if I can do a better job. You're gonna put the quarter underneath, right at the end of the branch, because that's where, and you're gonna take a crayon and just very carefully, and there's another one. I made it a little messy again. I think I have to get better at this. So there's some blossoms on my quarter tree. I'm going to put the quarter here and you're going to kind of see where, kind of press it down and there I get a little, I can see where the quarter is, see it under there? Then, let me see if I can do this while I hold it. Very gently, just color in back and forth where the quarter is and then take the quarter out and there's that one came out much nicer I think that worked out well so when I do it again let me do it let me put it under here press let me see press around press the paper and you get an idea of where the quarter is and then you can carefully color just in that area and you'll do A rubbing and you can see see the quarter come out look it's George Washington again so those are my blossoms on my quarter tree I'll do a few more so you can do as many or as few as you want and the harder you press the more you see the actual quarter come out see that one is I pressed a little harder there I pressed a little harder if I don't press as hard like here you don't see the quarter as much but there is my quarter tree. And that's basically what you're doing for this week's project. I hope you have fun.